Hello and welcome to another tutorial of KernSafe Technologies tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show how to create iSCSI target under iStorage server and then connect to it using mobile device. KernSoft WinC iSCSI initiator is first such software in the world. It is the first time you can expand storage in your Windows C or mobile device using iSCSI target. It will help you get rid of any storage limitation your device, device may have, since any maximum hardware storage capacity don't exist here, because it will only appear like additional storage you have in your device is physical, but in reality it will be an iSCSI disk. Most importantly, WinC iSCSI initiator is completely free. You may find link to it in the description box below. To start, first we need to create new iSCSI target in the iStorage server. Then please turn on iStorage server management console. Click on the create button. We will create a target using hard disk, image file, standard image file, and here we can specify if we want to use existing image file or create new one. For this tutorial I will create new target and name it WinC. I will leave other settings by default. Here we may choose the authorization. WinC iSCSI initiator supports chat authorization. Therefore, you may choose that authorization, but for this tutorial, I will just leave it by anonymous and click next to continue. Here, you may change your target name. I will change it to WinC and click finish to continue. As we just saw, creating new target in iStorage server is very easy and fast. After finishing, you may check the IP address of your server over here. This is what you will need to type in the CareSafe WinC iSCSI initiator to connect to this target. Now I will switch to the Windows mobile device. Here I have an emulator with the Windows Mobile 6 version. Even though it is emulator, the whole process will look exactly the same on a real mobile device. I already installed WinC iSCSI initiator on this device, therefore we may start by turning it on. Like I mentioned earlier, I will post link to Windows C iSCSI initiator in the description box below. After you will turn the initiator on, you will see very clean interface similar to desktop version of initiator. We can now add the portal of our storage that we created in iStorage server. We can either do it by either tapping and holding in the portals empty space and choosing add portal or going to iSCSI button clicking on portal and choosing add portal. Here we need to type IP address of iStorage server and please leave the port by default and click OK to continue. As we can see our target has been successfully discovered. We can now log in to it by tapping and holding on its name and choosing log on. Option automatically connect, log on or startup will automatically connect to this target every time you will turn on your device, so you don't need to do it manually. And just click OK button to continue. Now there will be a window prompting to format new storage. It is because the target we created in the iStorage server is raw 
and we need to format it before we will use it just tap on OK button to continue after formatting process will be finished you may access your new storage file file explorer therefore please turn it on our new iSCSI disk will appear as external card name iSCSI you may open it and access it at any given time you may of course copy any data to and from it without any problems of course you may copy as much data as you want to and from it and it only depends as big target you have created in the iStorage server size limitation of your device doesn't matter here because it will only appear that the card is physically inserted in your device but actually it is just an iSCSI disk so you don't need to worry about any limitation and you can now add as much additional storage as you want after you will finish using your target you may choose to log out from it just by clicking on it and choosing from iSCSI mini target and log out now when you are successfully logged out from your target you may also log out from your portal in the same way just tap and hold on portal IP and choose remove now when we will open file explorer we can see that our iSCSI card isn't here anymore because we already successfully disconnected from it as we just saw using kernel safe when C iSCSI initiator is very easy to use you may also access more information about it directly from initiator itself by tapping, tapping on help and choosing help topics there you will be able to access all more detailed information about the initiator itself and how to connect to target using CHAP user authorization thank you for your attention that is all I have prepared for today and talk to you soon